uh, the breathable area. Uh, other than that, stay there. After the run, you can move around, you can check everything that you want. And now it's gonna be just a warm up. So let's warm it up and then let's do a pass after that. You guys see the new dyno on, on the fuel test software? Why? Can we pull up the dyno class on our computer? <laughs> so technically the ECU show you an estimated power and torque from the engine. Oh yeah. Based on fuel consumption. So at least you got something. So it technically once you tune the vehicle on the dyno, you can roughly know what's what's gonna be the brake specific. So you can go to see uh, how much fuel the engine was using at that moment and you will know the power because that the dyno is going to tell you the math channel maybe no the, the math channel it is there already oh. so the ecu already does that for you based on fuel consumption so if the engine makes 3000 horsepower and you use 3000 pounds per hour of fuel technically means that your brake specific should be one you can go on the ecu and set yeah brake specific number one and based on that the ECU will estimate the power now on this case it's way more than that fuel for sure let me see I don't know if we got the match channel maybe not turn it on on the logger I will need to go to see where is it uh, duty cycle milliseconds I can look for it on the logger. Maybe they need to turn it on the, the mat channel to estimate that. Or the fuel consumption function is not turning on. Let me go to sensors and calibration and see fuel consumption is not turning on. So I need to turn on that function in order to estimate the power. Yep. So just that. We can do it on the next run. Uh, what I can see here. Uh, let me get rid of that graph. Engine flash up 8300 RPM. The gear change is set to do 1 2 at 1.2 seconds and 6 tenths of a second after to do the 2 to 3. And they did it perfectly. The thing is that you don't see it on the RPM because the RPM was actually higher than our expected. Our gear change RPM was 8000. It was flash, it flashed already to 8200. So that's why it just waited the minimum time to do the gear change and you can you can see it there essentially so next time we're gonna increase the rpm gear change maybe to 85 86 uh it was set to 88 before yep. so i believe that we can go there depending on whole plugs look they look good right now they look good we can probably yeah whatever we can probably increase the rpm and send it all the way and with that we we'll start checking scrap plug to, to see how it goes question for you real quick while i'm thinking about it yeah so this is one thing that i'm listening at like the suspend functions and stuff of the 700 is there going to be a way that i can say put a math channel in there you know engine drive shaft our slip channel well you can do it actually right now no hold on a second though i want to reference the channel so that it doesn't make the gear change until i say when the gear slip is okay you see what i'm saying okay yeah so because there's a lot of times we're going to run these and it, it's just going to hang where i want it but i don't want it to shift too early Okay. And, and if I if I can let the ECU do more work and say, hey, wait until it couples X amount instead of just giving it a time or an RPM. Because the other problem is, as soon as you shank a run, your your time-based stuff is junk, right? Yep. So now if we can have that built into that, that I can actually use 
a custom channel we make and reference that. Yeah, that would you can. that would make uh like my no prep stuff for instance. They ain't never perfect. So we can go through and say, okay, wait to shift until this and whatever. Yep, you so can. That, cool. You can definitely do that. Once uh, we get all the features going. Exactly. Awesome. Exactly. Awesome. So it, it, you could start having data from now. Yes, I take yes. Again, going into setting, form the logger, yep. and create already the mathematic channel. Create that, well, new you guys have in that in there already. And create yep. a new channel already to start getting data to understand yes. where wh which one is the sweet spot. Yep. You yep. know? And 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 you can and start once we have it, you have everything implemented, boom, we can build it. Exactly. Right. EGT is real Four. good. Chance number three, even I, from the beginning, was lady higher than the other ones? Yes. I don't know if there's too much fuel in three or what, because even at idle the three was running away. Um so could be just a sensor that is yeah, what, the that is too deep. Could be just a or the position of the sensor or the sensor itself. I would just put three five and five and three and see the colors. If it follows, yeah. To see if it's in the side of itself. But the other on the sensor but they were the same. Deal. It was uh Part of the two. three five and three six AFR. Target was actually four, so the issue was doing nothing because they're not allowed to take fuel out. Yep. Um other than that, it looks pretty much fine. Before we it's had an issue with the 25 PSI. Uh, if we go to the fuel table, uh, what's something that I normally I like to do is go to pounds per hour on the fuel table and see that uh, 45 pounds around this area, we have 3,200 pounds per hour on the primary. And on the secondaries, we have 50 back to pounds per hour, 2800. So we have in total 6,000 pounds per hour of fuel. 6,000 pounds per hour of fuel divided by 1.7 brake, for example, is enough fuel for 3,500 or something. So fuel and should be good. Uh, maybe slightly rich. It is showing rich, but we didn't went out of the way. Yep. So we, exactly. we need to take a longer, make a longer run to see if that amount of fuel is good and we can start bringing it down to make a little extra power what happens when we go towards the end of the screen and if we make over 68 pounds of boost then you or we're at the end of the screen does it stick that value or does it interpolate anything past that the last value that you see there is the one that is you with you Perfect. so technically yeah. for that reason is that if you think that the engine will rev higher than 10 you add, get it out add an, an extra failure there just doesn't gain you shouldn't make that, uh, especially in this case. You shouldn't, no. If you go it's there... It's right around 50. It made 45 now. Yeah. At, well, at 8,300 yeah. again. Uh, as it goes higher, we'll make a little more. Maybe 52 is fish. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Uh, what corner that's one? No, so far for it. Yeah, that's close to the wheels. So let's see if everything is fine. We could probably just increase the gear change. So. Rod race gear shift output was set to 8,000. Minimum time 1.212 and six tenths of a second between gear change. So probably on the next one we can go to 8,500. 86. That's 88. 88. Take it to 88. Ooh, no 88. Here's the I don't know. You can do sand. No, no, I said 88. <laughs> and we'll make more of him. Oh, yeah, definitely. One. One. One time. Uh, I don't have connection right now, so the easy addition is off. We'll need to turn it on, send the map, and then I get.